Adopt a pet. You'll need pet supplies, chew toys, and a new fence for your pet from the Vinyl Outlet. Well, everybody, meet Jordan. Our Pet Talk Tuesday segment will include a conversation on Lyme disease with local vet Dr. Stephanie Wolf as we welcome in Jordan, uh, this week's most adoptable pet from the Buffalo Animal Shelter, brought along by volunteer Dustin Yorman. So good morning, everybody. Good Thanks morning, Doc. Good morning, Dustin. You say little Jordan here, about one years old, a male, was a stray? Yep. Uh, a little terrier mix, maybe Brussels Griffin, Karen Terry, you never know. He's a little shy, but he warms up really quickly. Um, very snuggly, very sweet. Look at the camera, buddy. There yeah, you go. There he goes. Um, look at, look he's at He's good with sweetie. dogs, big and small. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but like I said, mostly he's happy to just to um, be hanging out on your lap, get soaking up attention and a little love. Um, I'm sure he'll perk up a little once he gets home and feels a little more comfortable. Right. He's a little pretty more much popular. full grown? Yeah, he's full grown. Yeah. Not a big guy. Yeah. I like. He looks like a little gremlin. Eight, yeah, he does look like a gremlin. <laughs> uh, he's much cuter than a gremlin. <laughs> Oh, all right now. But he's a good boy. So we've got Jordan waiting for some wonderful person. And we've got a full person. shelter of dogs of all shapes and sizes right. right now. So if you don't get there in time for Jordan, another dog will win your exactly. heart. Exactly. I haven't been there in a few days. Came in today and just, just a ton cool. of a ton of dogs. What time are you open till today? We're open till three today, and then tomorrow is our late night. We're going to be open till seven. Okay. With the adoption, they're, they're, all the animals are spayed, neutered, fully vaccinated, right. microchipped. Great deal. It's a great deal. All under two hundred dollars. You can't beat it. And right now we are also having a special on cats over one years old are oh. going to be ten dollars wow. versus the usual wow. 110 wow. because we're trying to move them out um so just remember you know that's paid for by our all of our donations they're not okay. just like slashing fees got to get to lyme disease real fast for, uh, caused by ticks caused by yeah. well transmitted by yeah. ticks caused by bacteria mm. so uh, when people say we don't need tick protection i always warn them these ticks the Exodes ticks, and by and large, is what transmits this. Um, Linda, they're they're so tiny, you're mm -hmm. never going to find them. And mm -hmm. people say, well, you know, I pet the dog, yeah, but all you need is 24 hours right. of them attaching. And you have a furry dog. And yeah. you have a furry dog, or you have a black dog, or even a black and white dog. I mean, it's so simple for mm -hmm. one of those ticks to just hang in there. And if you're not using your year-round, you know, huh, flea control and tick protection, you do run the risk of it. Now there are vaccines that you can use oh. that'll certainly help mm -hmm. um, in tick endemic areas, more in the southern yes. um, the southern area for sure. You go camping, anything like that. If you practice quote risky behavior mm -hmm. in terms of more of an outdoor life than say an indoor life, you've got to do it 12 yeah. months out of the year. This year cats we were too? seeing them. No, Just not cats. Okay. <laughs> um, Certainly cats can get it, but I don't believe that it's been reported, the okay. disease itself in cats. All right. But you know what? If you train, if you bring one in and you have a dog, sure, now right. the cat can kind of be the cause All of it. All right, so. everybody, Lyme disease, make sure your dog is protected. We want to thank Dr. Wolf, the Niagara Frontier Veterinary Society. We want to thank Dustin. And remember, Jordan is waiting for you over at the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.